one of the places where you're likely to be paying up is at the grocery store. Prices are still up over 18% from three and a half years ago. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, grocery store prices in all have risen 21% in the last three years. And Fox's Kennedy Hayes joins us live in Denver tonight. So Kennedy, what are people saying about the cost of food right now? Well, John and Christina, the owner of this community grocery store tells me that budgeting can be tough right now, not only for her customers, but for her too. I don't even pay myself a minimum wage yet, so I understand, like, pockets being tight. Sun Market owner Andrea Leo says she tries to keep prices low. Sometimes I pay more for potatoes than I'm charging. Uh, same with milk. I make, like, 10 cents on milk, but it's more important for me to have it affordable so that people can come in. Inflation is hovering between 2 and 3 percent nationally, but economists say some food prices remain inflated by up to 10 percent. And even if you don't notice a price hike, you should watch out for shrinking products. We should look at the packets, make sure that uh, uh, your uh, product size has not gone down and uh, uh, you are paying uh, the right price for the right product. Customers say they try to find the best deals by shopping at multiple stores. The salary I'm getting paid is not going to cut it for much longer. So uh, definitely just want things to slow down a little bit. Really being careful about where we spend our money. It's um, coming down to the necessities and trying to eat healthy is even harder. That market owner says inflation had the biggest impact on prices of her poultry and produce. To help, she donates some for free to families in need. I want to have something for everyone, no matter what the budget. According to financial services company Moody Analytics, Americans are paying on average $1,000 more per month than they were this time two years ago. And economists say prices may not get back to where they used to be, but they may stabilize by the end of this year. In Denver, Kennedy Hayes, Fox 10 News.